Hey, what's up guys? Bobo Rail here, and today I've got a bit of a different video format for you. Uh, so this is just going to be me doing live commentary, talking about some things I feel... Uh, I don't know. I, I just feel like I, I would like to talk about them, especially with Thanksgiving being yesterday. There's a lot I want to get off my chest as a, a content creator in the Vigor community right now. And, you know, just uh, to, to somewhat clarify what what content is going to be made moving forward and the state of the channel right now as you can probably tell by the title of this video uh like i said this is live commentary none of it's scripted uh so you're gonna get a lot of uh uh, uh and uh but <laughs> and whatnot you know it, it's unscripted so I'll probably put a couple edits here and there throughout this, but overall it's just going to be me completely unfiltered talking. So I hope you enjoy this. I'll probably have some mediocre gameplay to accompany that. Um, but you know, the first major thing I kind of want to talk about is uh, streaming. And if you've been following the channel relatively closely recently, you'll see that I've been doing a lot of YouTube streams recently. Just, you know, various different games. I think the... I did Vigor the other night, uh, I did some Insurgency the other night, um, and you know, I, I, I want to keep doing that because streams on YouTube versus streams on Twitch are a very, very different audience and a very different experience uh, in from from what I've seen. Um, oh. I'm so bad, dude. Should have that, killed that guy. But yeah, uh, on YouTube, I feel like we as a channel you know me and chris we we have a bigger audience period just more subscribers means there's more people in the chat more more things to do and uh it's nice it, it it really the more people in the chat the more people i get to talk to and and connect with in in the rest of the community the more it feels rewarding to to make content for you guys you know because it's not just me you know putting it out seeing a number tick up on the screen it's it's much more personal when those numbers are are when i'm i'm shown that those views and subscribers are are actually people who are willing to talk to me and and, and add to the content that i'm making so so streaming is definitely i i plan on doing it more although it it does take time and usually i stream really late at night because i'm pretty busy during the day and so is chris especially too so that's that's also a major oh, I'm gonna die here. That's also a major reason why I feel you know, if you've noticed over the last few weeks I've kind of a lot of the videos uh, at random times seem to be like, you know, three or four of my videos or three or four of Chris's videos in, in order. I, this has been a thing for like the last six, seven months at this point where one of us will just take over the channel for, for periodic uh, time periods and because of that you know you'll just get uh, a mixed bag you'll never know who, who's gonna be the the main content creator for each week because you know we we have different schedules that we we tend to adjust accordingly i'm so bad right now because i'm trying to focus on talking but um yeah it's nice though it is nice i i i, I don't want to come off as feeling uh in any way in content with with how the channel is going or how content creation is going because i have a lot planned going forward right now chris has a lot planned going forward right now it's just there in particular in this little time frame there's going to be i feel a shift in in the type of content long term because honestly uh, you know, a, a major focus of, of me and Chris's content over the past six months has been weapon balance. And now there is no, there is no HVRSG, there is no Bugle, there's, no, there's nothing that really, really stands out. And I, you know, my, my weapon balance video from like two weeks ago, talking about how there, there is kind of a meta with the M16, but like that, that, that's very nitpicky, very negligible in comparison to what it's been like over the last year or so. And so, you know, it's just, 
there's not enough weapon balance content to continue making it really so i mean i'm gonna t i'm gonna touch on shotguns and 45 acp shortly probably within this next week because if possible you know if i can get my message out to the devs and solidify it as like you know exactly what what i think would be best for the community and for for the game uh shotgun and and early game weapon balance i i think it would really just finish out weapon balance as a topic as, as a complete subject vigor is cl really really close to being a perfectly balanced title i'm not gonna lie or at least you know better than most other games on the market i should have switched to the gal there huh. oh this guy's pretty uh don't get about it. it's a 3v1 I have, oh, it was only 3v5 to begin with. I didn't know. Oh. Yeah. I'll play another round. And uh, yeah, there's still a lot more I want to talk about, even with me pretty much just constantly talking here. But, yeah. There'll be some editing in this. I'll cut some of it in and out. Yeah, so, so that'll switch the way that content... Uh, the type of content we're making overall. Because if we're not investing me and Chris's content development resources into weapon balance or you know if, I, if I'm not writing like a video essay a week talking about what needs to change with the game then it just becomes what can be done with vigor as a creative canvas and and honestly as on other games too like not just vigor like you know in the past I've I've we me and Chris uh, collectively have tried to expand to a couple of different games. And, you know, I mean, it, it's not that we didn't, uh, it, it's not that it wasn't necessarily successful. Like, uh, if you were really diehard, you know, I did a lot of stuff with the World War One game series probably about uh, four or five months ago, like in the summer of 2021, I, I was working a lot with the World War One game series and, uh, uh, you know, recently, Insurgency and Chernobyl, I, but both of them are kind of, well, Chernobylite's kind of screwed over by a game-breaking bug right now that's that's causing saves to just delete. So I'm holding off on making new content for that for a while, honestly, until that gets patched. Um, but other games, you know, our expansion into other games has, has been, I, I wouldn't call it a failure because if we invested more resources into it, you know, if, if me and Chris really sat down and said, okay, I'm going to upload two insurgency videos a week, like in the same way that we invest time and energy into vigor, then I really do think that we're more than capable of expanding in that in that aspect. But I just don't really want to, because to me, vigor is, is the big game that I enjoy playing the most, that I enjoy, you know, I can write three video essays a week and, and enjoy myself and not, and not feel like work as much with Vigor, where, you know, unless I'm really passionate about a specific aspect, like I was with World War One game series in summer, then it's it's hard to do that. And I mean, World War One game series is, I love it, but there's not that much content to work with. It's a historical game, it, ha it can't have that much content to work with, uh, unless you start stooping into Battlefield 1 territory, where you're like adding experimental shit all the time and, and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get doinked right here. Yeah. Whew. Um, so just a few more things I wanna touch on. I know I'm getting dumpstered in Elim right now while I'm talking, but once again, I'm, I'm just kinda more focused on the, the intellectual side of this right now. So, last few things I wanna talk about here. Oh, oh, um, content uh, and working with other people. So, I kind of explained this a little, I'm brain dead, but I kind of explained this a little bit when I was uh, talking about live streaming, how community interaction is kind of the most rewarding aspect to me of, of making content period on YouTube. Like, you know, see, seeing a person associated with numbers. And where I see that most prevalently and most, uh, that, that biggest sense of community comes from Discord and and 
you know, all the nice people that, that join our Discord and are actively in our comment sections and in our streams, it, it means a lot. Um, and with that, I see a lot of other content creators. For example, Bad Bit Sweaty, uh, more recently Cornbread is somebody who I, I've been interested in and want to talk to more uh, in the past, Brian Evans, uh, DJ Spencer, uh, you know, uh, we have a lot of friends in the community at this point, as, as it should, you know, Vigor's not... People like to say Vigor has a really toxic community, and it does if you're in the wrong side of it. If you're in the right side of it, then you have a lot of really cool people, really cool content creators who I would love to become better friends with and, and make more make more stuff with them. And so um, what, what I'm trying to get at here is I'm very open to collabs with any other creators who might be seeing this. Um, and if, you know, it, it just, just reach out to me. Just reach out to me, really. And I mean, uh, or I might reach out to you. I don't know. I don't have a solid schedule for anything at the moment uh, other than my own content stuff, which I'll talk about in a second specifically. But um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm open to working with people. I'm excited to work with people and especially in my own wing, you know, uh, of VSL, in my own branch of VSL with members and, and other content creators who are trying to grow like uh, B, somebody else. Uh, I, I don't, sorry, I don't know what your YouTube uh, name is exactly and other than B when you show up in our streams, but I appreciate you specifically. You're, you're a real one. Um, but you know, I just love talking about making content, talking about what I'm passionate about in Vigor, and and working with people overall. Like, it, it gets me really, really excited when I see somebody come into my Discord DMs proposing either a completely new concept for how to make vigor better oh my god i should have hit both of those flicks but proposing a brand new concept for how to make vigor better or proposing like i don't know just striking up a conversation about content and vigor and games and everything i, I appreciate it on a, a very personal level so thank you to everybody who reaches out and and wants to help build community and build more content for me and chris and everybody else involved so, oh, what I have planned for the next week, essentially. Um, so, like I mentioned earlier, shotguns are on my in my sights right now. I'm working on a script for that. I, I have a lot of it written out, and I'll have some diagrams uh, in that video. But I'm, I'm just full-on going to say exactly what I think needs to be done with shotguns as a whole. And I know I touched on it already a little bit, but it really needs to be put in a fleshed out format so I can show the, it, the devs really is, is the target audience here. What exactly I think needs to get done with shotguns to make them feel satisfying, balanced, and uh, appropriate for the, the, the gunplay of Vigor. Because right now I think they're way out of whack. After that, 45 ACP and the discussion that I think early game guns should just be flat out better than, than they are currently. Like, mm, Things like, really 45 ACP and pistols is, is the biggest thing. The, the Thompson, the grease gun, six to seven shots to the upper chest is just ridiculous. And, and to expect the newest people in the game, you know, like, like straight noobs to be using just garbage guns and not, that aren't able to compete TTK wise, I, I feel like it's just wrong. Um, and, and so that, that's, that's gonna be what comes after shotguns. Um, otherwise, like I said, weapon balance isn't as much as a problem anymore. And really, I'm just looking at, at, at from moving past that, I'll be looking at Vigor from more a more creative perspective. And I, I've got some ideas right now for what I could do cinematic-wise or storytelling-wise in terms of, like, you know, almost isolated uh lore videos that i can i can tie gameplay and, and lore together with so uh, that i'm being purposefully vague here because <laughs> i don't want to give away too much but uh i made a video la early in the summer that i'll i'll link or i'll show on screen now that if you've seen it you've seen it if you haven't uh definitely check it out because that's kind of what kind of content i want to look at moving forward because it's the most fun to make hands down it lets me do writing um and you know what i'll probably have to cast for some voice actors and, and vsl members so if that's something you'll be interested in um i'll let you know you'll see in the discord just just stay active in the discord and you'll see what happens there 
Uh, I'll play out this ra last round here, and then I'll, I'll close out the video. Uh, I'll try and give you guys some solid gameplay, because like I said, I'm, I'm been like half focusing on what I'm playing and 99% focusing on what I'm saying. <sighs> but you know, this whole video, like I said, I really like streaming. I really like having open communication with my community and in Chris's community, and because they are in some ways separate. And I do like, uh, you know, keeping everything as tight knit as possible. But, you know. Ooh, I'm very lucky. But, you know, this is kind of almost a stream that, you know, where it's just unfiltered, un uncensored uh, version of me. But it's in a video. So, let's see what we can do here. I shouldn't have repicked that.